guys, I'm back today with another design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Today I'm using Picket Fences Ico, Eco, Ico, Girl, not sure how to pronounce it. I'm going to stamp her out with Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink. I'm using my Mini Misty because I did use the stamping block, but this image is just too detailed to get a good stamp one time. However, I do think my ink kind of smooshed. So some of the detail is lost in the image uh, as far as her headpiece, her flowers. Um, I'm thinking, I think it should have been a little bit more finer of a detail um, from what I've seen in other pictures, but no big deal. I'm using my Copic markers and coloring this image out onto some Spectrum Noir cardstock, which is alcohol marker friendly paper. It's my favorite paper, really the only one I've ever used, but um, I really like it. This ink does smear a little if you don't let it dry. So it is alcohol marker friendly, but again, if you don't let it dry, it will smear on you. Adding a little bit of color to her eyelids and then cheeks. And then I'll use that same color for her lips. Really love this image. It's very different from what I have in my picket fence collection of girls. So um, I'm glad to have her in my collection. I decided to give her black hair so I'm trying to use various grays instead of straight black because I didn't want her hair to look like big blob I wanted to keep some of the streaks so you can see that it is hair I really like it, how it came out it's beautiful so Jamie does have this in her shop it um, as well as a ton of new releases lately. I've been really trying to be good and not purchase a lot. Um, but if you do go over there and make a purchase, you can use coupon code crazy paper chick to save 10%. Finishing up the flowers here. So yesterday I had to get a tooth pulled story time. Um, I was in extreme pain all weekend and found an emergency dentist. It's like this toothache just came on all of a sudden, which is weird because I've been pretty good at keeping up going with the dentist. I've been getting some work done and you know, we're just trying to do the best for my teeth, which aren't in great shape. But um, this tooth that I was having pain was, it had a long time ago, had a root canal and had a crown. Anyway, long story short, the root of the tooth was cracked. So I needed surgery or I could get it pulled and I was like who has time for surgery and I need something immediate for this pain relief to go away and uh, so they just pulled the tooth and I feel like I took off work today and I feel like I've been punched in the face. <laughs> uh, so down below tell me what is your worst dentist experience because <laughs> this not the dentist experience was fine. The tooth pull being pulled was not pleasant. But I don't think I've ever experienced as much pain as I did. To the point where, like, I thought maybe if I just run out into traffic, it will relieve the pain. <laughs> because something else will happen and distract me. It was horrible. Anyway, so if I sound funny, it's because I feel like I have a golf ball in my mouth. But, anywho... I'm adding these gemstones, they're from my stash, just give it a little sparkle, and then I'm using a sentiment from a Tailored Expressions stamp set, the strips that you could get like 20 sentiments or whatever and cut them all at once. Um, I'll see if I can find it and link it below. They're fabulous for having sentiments on hand. And that completes the card, really simple, but I just had to feature this girl. I think she's beautiful, and if you are interested in, in this stamp set or any other products Jamie has to offer, definitely go ahead and go over to her shop. Don't forget to use that coupon code, which will be listed below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!